This is the fourth and final video in our technology integration at Carroll High School and Carroll Senior High. First, let's make sure that you're actually in your school district account whenever you log in and not your personal account. So double check up at the top right hand side that you're in your school district account. I'm going to show you really quickly about the hot dog, about extensions up here on the top right hand side, and your toolbar. So let's first start with our hot dog. So on the right hand side, right underneath the red X, there's three dots. This is what we refer to as the hot dog. If you click on the hot dog, which used to look like three lines parallel to you that look like three hot dogs that have been turned 90 degrees, um, and, but they're still called the hot dog, even though they don't look like hot dogs anymore. But when you click on the hot dog, you can actually see your history, your browsing history. Um, you can see your downloads. Um, you can actually go to your bookmarks and organize your bookmarks bar. That's usually what I come to if I go to anything on this list. I may go to settings for passwords and setting my default browser. But other than that, I'm usually not a big hot dog user. Um, and you should really not have to go there very much either. So what we're going to do is we're going to swing all the way to the left hand side. And we're going to go um, on the left. Let's go to the colorful waffle. So when you click on the colorful waffle, you know that's where your web store is. These are shortcuts to the apps for slides, sheets, docs, and to your drive. What you'll notice is I have a little icon for drive up here on my toolbar. And so I'm going to show you how to set up uh, an icon like that as well. So let's go to docs. Let's say that docs is your favorite website. Or maybe like you see right here, I have a favorite website, it's Bozeman Science. So go to your favorite website. And you, let's say you get tired of actually typing that in every time. What you can do is you click on the URL, so the whole thing is highlighted. You hold down your cursor, or your, um, sorry, your left button, and you drag that URL down onto your toolbar. And when you do that, the icon and the name of the website both show up. So what you'll see is I don't have names on these icons on the left, but I do have a name right here. Um, on, the, um, on the one I just downloaded. So I'm going to right click on that one. I'm going to go to edit and I know the icon. I don't need the name to know the icon. So I'm going to actually delete the whole name. Now it suggests if it's a website you're not usually familiar with, you might want to leave the name. But for this one, I know this one. So I'm going to delete the name altogether. And when I do, what you'll see is now it's just the icon. So I could load up all my favorite websites if I know their icons, like Pandora would go across here, my online stopwatch, I would have a lot of icons loaded onto my toolbar just to save me time from having to type in the URL every time. The last thing I want to show you is how to download an extension, and your extensions are going to show up over here on the top right hand side. Um, so some of you probably have um, a little blue cloud up there. Um, and that's good. Some of you may have more than that, but for now I'm just going to assume that you guys just have the blue cloud. So I want everyone to click on the colorful waffle, then on the web store app, and you will see in the web store you've got extensions, themes, and Carol ISD. So extensions are like what I would describe like as an app on your phone. On your phone if you want to download an app like a GroupMe app or a YouTube app, you would go to the App Store. But in Google, they're called extensions. So you would come here. On your personal account, there's lots of extensions you can download. And you may have some really ones that you actually just love. But you're now in your school district account. So when you're in your school district account, you're limited to the ones that the district has approved. So you're going to click on Carol ISD on the left hand side under the Chrome Web Store and these are ones that are safe and have been approved. Not that there's not others but these are the ones we've started off the year with. So we're going to scroll down through this list and you can pick another one but I would suggest that you scroll down to the one that says Add Block Plus. Add Block Plus has a red stop sign with the letters ABP in them and then click Add to Chrome. It's going to give you a message that says, do you want to add this to Chrome? You're like, yeah, buddy. And you're going to let it add to Chrome, and you're going to see maybe sometimes they pop up. The whole window opens up to that uh, extension. Sometimes they don't. But you'll see the little red stop sign has now appeared in your top right-hand side. So now from now on, 
your ads will be blocked when you go to certain websites so that it doesn't you know slow down your YouTube viewing and things of that nature if you try to download an extension that's not allowed you'll get an error message um, that prevents you from downloading it um, like this it'll say I'm sorry this is blocked by your administrator if you are certain beyond certain that this is a safe app or an extension that is not harmful and that you think every student in Carol ISD might take advantage of this one because it's a good one then what we have set up for you is a form that you can fill out your teacher has actually loaded that form hopefully onto their canvas page um, and you have to be logged into your school district account in order to fill out the form but the form will allow you to request an extension to be added to the Carroll ISD store so if that's the case then you can fill out the form and maybe it'll get approved for dragons everywhere so hopefully this has been a really helpful video reviewing you how to save your bookmarks what the colorful waffle can do for you and what those hot dog why it's called a hot dog um, have a great weekend and thank you very much.